faith on fire. What is faith? Faith is what links man with God. The spiritual force that links man with God. The force that connects man with God. The force that brings to man everything God is and has by linking man with God. What is faith? We are told in Hebrews 11 verse 1 that faith is a substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Why faith? It said by faith the elders, the fathers obtain the good report. Faith is a principal requirement that changes any report that you may have right now to a good report. No matter what your life may be like, if you only can believe, your report will be changed. If you have the report of failure, your failure report will be changed to a good report. If yours is a report of poverty, faith will bring you good report of prosperity. No matter who you are, regardless of where you are, faith is the scriptural requirement to obtaining a good report from the Lord. There is nothing that you want to see in your life that faith will not bring to you. I, I want you to listen very attentively. Many of us all over the world that are called by the name of the Lord our God, we are struggling with sickness, with disease, with penury, with lack and want, not because that is the will of God, but because we don't believe God enough to obey Him. Until you come to a point of believing God to do what he says, even when it doesn't make sense, you can never see God work for you. Why do we struggle with lack? Because the faith required to do the required, for God to do the required and give you what you require, many of us lack. <laughs> I want to share a testimony with you from the life of a grandpapa to me. Papa Smith Wigglesworth. I am a man of faith. You don't need to believe me if you don't want to believe me, but hear me and hear me well. I am a man of faith. Since the 31st of May, 1991, till today, 2nd of November, 2020, I have not swallowed one medicine on account of sickness. God is no respecter of persons, but he respects our faith. When you believe, God shows you respect. <laughs> when you are non-believer, God disregards you. You don't attract any respect from God. But when you are a man of faith, proven faith, faith as that of the fathers, God shows respect to you. God respects your word. God respects your work. God respect, respects everything you do. Smith Wiggles what? One night during the Second World War, Wiggles what was being driven by a minister named Harrison to a place called Sutton in Ashfield in Nottinghamshire in the United Kingdom. He was going to preach at a meeting. Suddenly the car's engine spluttered and the vehicle came to a halt. They were in the middle of the Sherwood Forest, Sherwood Forest, 17 miles away from their destination. We shall never get to the meeting now, said Harrison. That's the speech of unbelief of a minister. He was a minister. Look at what he said. We shall never get to the meeting. How can the minister say to a man who was going to preach in a meeting, we shall never get there? Because of his unbelief. But he was a minister. That is how many of many people who are preaching there are. When they look at the account of the church, they say this project cannot be done. When they look at what they have, they say this cannot be done. When they look at a cripple whose legs 
and arms are distorted and contorted. <laughs> they look at the contortion and they say, no, this one can never be healed. The man said, we will never get there. The car has run out of petrol. This sort of thing often happened during the war, since petrol was in very short supply, especially for private travel. Uh, Wigglesworth asked him, do you have any water? How can you be asking for water when we say we don't have fuel? He should have asked him, or you could have asked him, hey, do you know how long it is from here to the nearest station? How much money do you have so I can look up, look, we can make arrangement to turn the ride and then go get some fuel from, a, from the nearest finish station? That is what the sensible man will say. But you see, faith is nonsense. Faith makes nonsense of your senses. <laughs> faith is not sense and it's not senses. Meanwhile, faith makes nonsense of your senses. He asked him, do you have water? I'm sure the man must have been bewildered. Well, he said, yes, I keep some for topping up the radiator. Put it in the petrol tank. Hallelujah. Put the water in the petrol tank, not in the radiator. Boomed Wiggles Ward. Horrified by this idea, but not daring to disagree with the great man of faith, Heisen did as he was told. His hands shaking and trembling as he did it. He poured the water into the tank. He then revved the engine, and to his amazement, the car started at the third try and got them to the meeting without any further problems. Harrison was utterly astonished by this, but he was sure that the engine must be a complete write-off after having all that water in it. He happened to own a small factory, and so the next day, asked one of his workmen to make a special scoop which would fit into the neck of the petrol tank, and when we drawn, we'll take a sample of the petrol out. The workman did this, and when Harrison took a sample, he was amazed to find that it was pure petrol. There wasn't a trace of water. What is all the more remarkable about this story is the fact that in those wartime days, the petrol was dyed a different color in each area of the country. This was to discourage people from wasting it. The police used to stop motorists and examine the color of their petrol. If the color wasn't that of the local area, it meant that the motorist was probably traveling further than he needed to. Now, the color of the petrol in Harrison's car tank was the Nottinghamshire color. Not only had God, in response to Wigglesworth's faith, turned the water into petrol, but he had even made it the right color. He had even made it the right color. God is no respecter of persons. He respects your faith. The man said, Did you have what he said? He said, Point into the tank. That is not a sensible man's approach to issues. My prayer for you is that your faith will come alive today in the name of Jesus Christ. Many of us will believe in God because we don't believe in With God, nothing is impossible. But when you believe, all things become possible. I impart faith to you. So as he has given to me, I impart to you. What will keep you healthy from now until you draw your last breath, I release to you. There's a spirit of faith that's imparted. I release unto you the spirit of faith. I, ha I have it. I have it. You will hear from me. I have it. I have it. And when I say it is done, it's a new day for you. In the precious name of Jesus. I've come to set your bed on fire. To believe God for anything. And as you do, anything becomes possible for you from now. It is well with you. Stop living your life in doubt. The just that have been justified by faith shall live by faith. When you drop faith, you drop dead. When you drop faith, you drop dead. As a Christian, when you drop faith, you drop dead. My prayer is that you will never drop faith. Pick faith up and you will pick life up. And you will pick all that pertains to life and godliness. God bless you. Peace. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen.